This is a show about sports stuff, all about sports stuff, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Josh's show about sports stuff, all about sports stuff, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on in and join the show. Hello, welcome. Yes, I am back with sports stuff. A very unusual show about sports memorabilia by me, Josh Evans of Leland's, and I have been, not been around for at least a couple weeks because I have not been well. Now, uh, most people, they get a cold, they get the flu. It's like no big deal. It's down in a day, back in a day, back in a week. Me, it's like uh, dying. Because uh, I actually, to, I don't want to get too serious here, but uh, I have uh, a very low immune because I had my kidney transplanted uh, just two years ago, too. But actually, I have three kidneys because I have the two that don't work, and I have the one that does work from my sister who gave me her kidney, Andrea. Love you, Andrea. And uh, so I have to take all this medication so, you know, your kidney is not rejected because you don't want to have it. My body doesn't really want to have this kidney in it, even though I'd be dead without it. And uh, so you have to lower your immune. And when I get a little bit of a cold or a flu, it's like, forget it doesn't go away for a long time. So it's been a couple of weeks, but I'm feeling better. And I actually work today and I am bringing you the show because uh, it's pretty much all I have in the world. So uh, yes, I'm pitiful, but that's okay. We all have our crosses to bear. Anyway, first business, first order of business. I want to say happy birthday to my good, good, good friend, Gary Marmer, whose today is his birthday, or at least I think it is. I saw it up on his Facebook. Gary's amazing. He's, uh, he was my, uh, one of my roommates in college and, uh, we did great things together and we're still doing great things together and, uh, working with him in the past year or so has been amazing. It's like a gift, you know, and it's amazing. Cause like, it's like when we used to run the, we actually used to run the rock concerts at uh, school. He was in charge. He was the head of the social committee and, uh, I was his number two guy and, uh, I was in charge of the money. <laughs> Never took a dime. And, uh, and our other roommate, Daryl O'Mary, he was in charge of the alcohol, which is always a good thing. Dave Mooch, good evening to you. So uh, anyway, it was a lot of fun. So I think the coolest thing we ever did was we had the Ramones, which was like incredible. I mean, we were a little school, like 2,000 students, undergrad, and uh, Gary walked in one day and he's like, uh, you know, we can get the Ramones for, I think it was like $13,500. Now, I would pay $13,500 to have the Ramones sitting in my living room, not doing anything. So uh, I'm not showing off, but maybe I am. But uh, so it was, I was like, yeah, are you kidding me? They're amazing. So we had the Ramones. It was an amazing thing and it was great. And um uh, anyway, so, uh, uh, but years later, um, actually Johnny Ramon was a, uh, was a collector, very serious collector. And I used to see him at the New York shows, uh, back in the, like early to mid late eighties. And there he was, he was Johnny Ramon wearing a leather jacket, you know, in 80 degree weather or 90 degree weather and a white t-shirt, and it was like amazing. I was like, there's Johnny Ramon. So one day, he's walking past my booth, and I said, Johnny, you know, I hired you. And he goes, uh, really? I go, yeah, in Babson College, 1983, um, uh, we hired you. And he goes, oh, yeah, I remember that show. I said, it was amazing. It was great. And uh, actually, I, I sat in the front row because I used to run the door. And I made it a rule that we ran, ran the door that once the show was, was the main act came on, I would close the door and I would actually walk across the stage and deposit myself in the front row. So, you know, perks. And uh, I, told him the, I told him the story and we became friendly. And it was very, very nice. So, uh, and we would talk on the phone from time to time. We collected some of the same things. He used to collect Yankee autographs. And I think he had an autograph of like every single guy, eight by 10 of every single guy who was ever on the Yankees. Which I doubt that, but, uh, you know, it was, he had a lot of people. I know my, I'm very rough today because uh, I haven't shaved in uh, a month and a half. And, uh, you know, whatever. You could do that when you're sick. So, uh, so fast forward, 
uh, this was like, I don't know, maybe this was like eh, maybe 20 years ago. I think I told the story already, but I'm going to tell it again because it's one of my best stories. I get a call from Eddie Vedder. So I get Eddie Vedder calls on the phone, and I'm telling the story in honor of Gary Marmer, whose birthday is today. So Eddie Vedder gets on the supposedly gets on the phone, and I said, hello, this is, this is Josh. He goes, this is, goes, this is Ed Vedder. And I said, oh, hi, nice to meet you. He goes, um, so uh, I heard you hired Johnny Ramone. And I'm like, what? I'm thinking this is, and I was like, I don't really, and I was like, the only person who would know that I hired Gary, uh, Johnny Ramone, not Gary Ramone, there's no such person, would be Gary Marmer. So he's playing a little joke. So I said, Gary, what are you doing? Why are you bothering me? It's work day. My auction's like in a couple days. And I go, I go, who? And he goes, uh, it's not, this is not uh, Gary. This is, this is Johnny, this is uh, Ed Vedder. And I was like, oh, come on. I said, who is this? So this went back and forth for a while. And he said, and I said, okay, if you're Ed Vedder, then how the hell do you know that I hired the Ramones? He goes, Johnny Ramone told me. And he told me, he told the whole story because he was interested in buying some memorabilia. So he asked his friend, Johnny Ramone, who he knew he collected baseball stuff. And he said, who should I call? He goes, oh, you should call Josh. <laughs> So Eddie Vedder and I became a little friendly and uh, this was, you know, this was a pretty amazing thing. And I'll never forget it. And the, only, the part of it that always kind of gets me is that a conversation occurred at some point in time there of, of Ed Vedder, the guy who, you know, the genius of, uh, of Seattle rock, him, he and Kurt, Nav uh, Kurt Cobain, rest in peace. Uh, and the man who invented punk rock, we're having a conversation about me. So that's it. I could die right now. But I'd rather continue to go on. Please finish the show. So that's one of the nice things about being in this business and dealing with, you get to deal with a lot of interesting people and you get to tell brag and tell a story like that because I am actually very proud of it. And I actually have another side story. Uh, uh, Eddie Vedder bought something from me and he sent me a check for like $1,000, I forget, and um, I kept it. Um, I didn't, I didn't cash it because I was like, I'm not cashing this for a thousand dollars. I'd rather have this check. If I cash it, it's gone. And he actually called me up like, you know, a couple of months later. He says, you know, you never cashed that check. And I said, uh, no, uh, I lost it. So he sent me another one. That one I cashed. I still have, <laughs> I should have not cashed the second one. He'd be like, what's going on? And I remember my old friend, Arthur Kaminsky, who sadly passed away. He collected Time magazine covers. The only guy he couldn't get to sign was Ed Vedder. So I thought that was pretty funny. And I think I mentioned it to him. You know, I'm probably making this up, but I wanted to. And uh, so I'll make it up. And I said, Ed, you know, hey, my buddy uh, wants a, you know, a Time magazine cover. Sign him. And he goes, I think he said something like, uh, uh, oh, I don't do that. Something like that. I don't know if that's true. I just, maybe that's something I made up. I'm not sure. So um, it's like kind of like Norm MacDonald. He wrote a whole book about things that weren't necessarily true. So anyway, so that's my uh, cool story. I'll talk a little bit about, wait, what else I got here? Yeah, remember, hey, our monthly auction is on right now. There's amazing stuff in it. Closes on Sunday. Go to Leland's.com, take a look. There's some great deals. I think there's like a Walter Johnson T206 card from the Charles Bray collection that's up to like a dollar. You're, come on, get on the stick. There's some great boxing stuff, which we'll be continuing. We have an amazing collection. Came out of Chicago. Uh, there's some stuff in there. Prices are very reasonable, and there will be more and more. I'm very dark. Wait, let me see. That. What? How's this? Tell me what you think of this. What am I doing? The light is on. Terrible. So anyway, and uh, I'm wearing a green shirt, you know. So I usually wear black because I don't know, kind of look good in black. And Oh, and anyway, I'm wearing green because that's how I feel. I feel green. So um, I don't know. That, that didn't come out well. But I have actually, a, a, and if you noticed, I have a sound system now. I got a, like a speaker and I got a cord to go with it. So like we, this, is, this show is, I'm investing money into this show, just so you know. And Josh Heller is here and he knows about investing money. And uh, um, he, he, I don't know if he does or not. I just, just sounded good. So uh yeah, so we're getting serious about the show. Actually, I think we're on YouTube now. 
So uh, any day now, this thing's going to, it's going to blow. It's going to blow up. And the one thing I want to work into the show is Kanye loves Kanye. Or I love you like Kanye loves Kanye. I think that is the greatest line of all time. I just, I love that. And I, I, it doesn't, I, I know what it means, but it really doesn't mean anything. And that's why it's really good. Because it's just, it's dumb, but brilliant. And I, I've never listened to Kanye. Um, it, all these people are coming on now because of the whole Kanye thing. It's funny. I don't know how that works. <laughs> oh, I'm dying. <clears throat> I'm okay. So I got a lot of cough drops. Oh, sorry about that. These, these are cherry. Now I have strawberry, which is my favorite flavor. I want you to know this is very interesting. The cherry is better than the strawberry, even though strawberry is my favorite flavor. This is actually very interesting. You know, my two favorite flavors are peanut butter and strawberry. Yet, I don't really like peanut butter and I don't really like strawberries. It's like too much. It's like too good of, too much of a good thing. Um, oh, Josh Heller says I should have some tea. Yeah? You want to come over and make it for me? Anyway, well, I want to tea. Um... Uh, Scott is here. Scott Weirick wants to know why I ever go to the races with Mike. You know, there was a real tragedy. Um, I think I told you already. Um, my business partner, Mike Hefner, is uh, president of um, Hefner Racing. And um, he's, uh, he's brilliant. And uh, he, won, he won owner of the year. I think I told you this already, but his car crashed and his driver was killed and he's a very good friend of his so i'm really sad about that and um but it's amazing because he's he's all about the family um he's all about you know he was over there all the time and um had a, they had a he spoke they had a, a beautiful uh thing for him and uh for the race for the driver and uh and i just think, think it's sad but it the one thing that came out of it shows what a great person Mike Hefner is. And do I ever go to the races? No, I don't. Because Leland's is over here. The races is over here. I stay on this side. Anyway, but someday I'll go. I don't know. I'm sorry. I just think it's dumb. You know, you're going around and around in a circle. I, mean, I don't know. It is not my thing. That says Mike's... Uh, Scott says, I know Mike really well. He's a great man, M-A-N, capital M-A-N. And he's right. Mike Hefner is an amazing person. He's been, my, um, he's been my business partner for many, many years. Worked with me since he was 17. And uh, he's as good a friend as I have in the world. And um, I love the guy. And uh, he's loyal and he's smart. And um, I'm lucky, really lucky. And um, everyone out there, say a prayer for his driver and, um, and for Mike and for the family. And, um, you know, treat those around you the way they treat you. And you know what? Even if they don't treat you bad, if they, even if they treat you bad, you don't have to treat them bad. You know what? Just move on. But uh, Mike's taught me a lot about people and about things and um, that's why we've been together for so many years like an amazing thing like since he was 17 and he's like he's crazy 33 years incredible but we take care of each other that's the most important thing and that's what Leland's is based on Leland's is based on the relationship Mike Hefner and Josh Evans and uh, it's an amazing company it's been around forever and it will stay around forever and now we have young people coming in who are doing this Working with us and uh, learning the rope, learning the ropes. Guys like uh, Craig Shakespeare and uh, Jordan Gilroy. They're motivated. They're into it. They're honest. They're proud of what they do, and they're proud of the firm. And that's the most important thing. And we take care of our clients. We really do. I have made so much money for people through the years. I've sold things for ten thousand that are worth, you know, a hundred thousand now, and. 
sold things for 50,000 that are worth a million. It's true. And I never look back. I don't care. You know, I mean, I do care. I love it. And sometimes I get it back. So it works. It works out for everybody. But you got it. You got to do. You do what's best for your client. And then in the end, it's best for you. It's true. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's that. Um, so, uh, you know what? In, in, uh, in um, tribute to Mike, I got a thing here I want to show you. And I'll try to tie it into memorabilia. And this is, a, this is a thing that I've loved from day one. And what we're talking about here is stadium artifacts. I hit the keyboard. Got to move this thing out of the way. Limited space here, limited budget. How do I get this in? Take a look. That's pretty amazing. Now, what that is, that's a photo of Leland's in the old days when we were in Manhattan. And um, we're actually we're doing a photo shoot to shoot this photograph of this great piece, which is, this is the actual sign, the giant sign that sat atop the polo grounds. If you look at old photos of the polo grounds, you see they had these giant letters, you know, sticking out, uh, die cut in metal, and you see it spelled out there, G-I-A-N-T-S. And I think there was a New York on the other side, but we had, we got giants. And this was an amazing thing. I mean, look at it. It's life size. Um, these are some of my guys. That guy there, that's, uh, what was his name? Enrique. He was our shipper. He was a bodybuilder. He was a great guy. He was with us for some time. And right whoop, here, down there, you see that? That's Michael Puzo. Famous playwright, actor. Still one of my best friends, and uh, he he's uh, he's doing well. Went to see Norm Macdonald with him the other night. He's a great guy, and uh, he's in a play, by the way. It's either this weekend or next weekend in Jersey. Uncle Vanya, if you're interested, let me know. Maybe I can get you some tickets for not for free. <laughs> so uh, whoop, and that's Mike Hefner down there. He's a kid. Look at him. He's such, he's so young. That's half. Can you believe that? He's about 12. And the best part of it is he's got a, uh, a mohawk. He revels in his, uh, in his, uh, bohemian ways. That's half. And that photo was taken by Jeff Glanz right on the streets of New York. Love that photo. I have it hanging in my bathroom. And I'll tell you something, that stadium artifact stuff is incredible. It was never appreciated for years. Part of it, too, was because nobody wanted to ship it. They didn't want to ship stadium seats or any of that stuff, and I never cared. I had a shipping department, and I'm like, this stuff is great. And you could buy it really cheap because nobody wanted to ship it. And I would put it in an auction. We'd go for crazy money sometimes. And I had some amazing things like uh, the old turnstiles that, turn this way, not like this, but like this, the old 1910s turnstiles. I had a Comiskey Park, I had Briggs Stadium, Polo Grounds, even Ebbets Field. And uh, those sell for thousands of dollars, you know. They used to sell for, you know, fifteen, twenty-five thousand dollars $25,000. Now, you don't see them, but I'm, I don't know if they would sell for that much, maybe probably 10 plus. Um, and unusual signs, you know, anything that's really cool. I look for that all the time. But that was a great thing. But nobody back then, that was like in the late 80s, early 90s, wanted to buy the whole sign. I think it was like $5,000 or three to $5,000. So I had to break it up and sell it by the letter. It pitiful. I don't know. I hate that. That's terrible. But it was too much for one person. You know, they didn't have the, the display for it. So there's a stadium. In the stadium field, you have to be careful. You can't go too big. Go, you go big, you go home, which is the opposite. And uh, so I like the whole stadium thing. I, I still like it, even though it's not the, quite the same now. You know, they, the one that was the most monetized was Steiner with the uh, Yankee Stadium. And 
he's just a greedy guy. I'm not a big fan of Steiner. I'm sorry. He's just not, he wasn't, he did not act ethically with me. I'm not a fan. And uh, they just like squeezed every dollar out of it. That's fine, but there's a way to do it. And there's a way not to. So anyway, that's neither here nor there. Here or there. What else we got? Oh, yeah. What's up with this? I'm on Facebook, right? Odell Beckham wants to be my friend. It's not Odell Beckham. He's got like 28 friends. Come on. Why do people do that stuff? I hate that. Anyway, um, one more thing. I'm not political. Remember that. Not political. I'm, I believe I'm not a Democrat. I'm not a Republican. I just believe in what I believe. I think some things were right. No one knows. The economy is great. But I think we're treating people like crap. So whatever. That's as political as I'm going to get. Anyway. This is my mail-in ballot. Vote, people. It's our country. Right? I love America. America is the greatest country in the world. I don't care. I've been all over the world. Nothing comes close. Even though, I'll tell you, it's really funny. You don't see people from, like, Holland coming to live here, you know? You don't see people from, you know, like, France coming to live here. Actually, my, I have friends from, that live in France. And they live in France. They don't want to live here. The guy's American. It was very funny. I have this, these friends back in college, John and Val. They were amazing. They were like, you know, they were like, I think his, his mother had a lot of money. And they drove around in this like sports car and they had a dog and they had a big snake. And then, and they were like really hip. And they all of a sudden wanted to be my friend. I was like, sure. And she was gorgeous. And uh, they were just fun. So he goes, he stays, they graduate. He stays in, in wherever they lived in New England somewhere. And she goes back to France. He went right to France, followed her. That was, he was a smart guy. They have a beautiful family. They live in France. I still communicate with them. It's nice. So um, America's a great country, but remember, there's other great places out there too. But anyway, so vote. I don't care who you vote for. Just vote. And don't drag me into this political stuff because I don't like it. And this is not about politics. This is about sports stuff. Right? Okay. So. Follow us on Twitter, on Instagram. Like us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Follow us on Facebook. Share these videos. I'm so happy people are listening. Remember, I love you guys like Kanye loves Kanye. Remember that. This was a show about sports stuff, all about sports stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hope you like the show about sports stuff, all about sports stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hope you really like the show. Hey, thank you. It's nice to be back. And remember, I love you guys like Kanye loves Kanye.